Welcome to Croatia. Today uh, we are in Zadar and um, we're gonna walk around and explore the city a little bit more and take you on our journey with us. But first, breakfast. So we're just getting out some cash now at the moment. Um, 150 kuna, um, if you're thinking about currency exchange rates. 150 kuna is 20 euros, so that's kind of the budget that we've been trying to stick to so far. So let's see if it works. All right, so it turns out that the ATM only really is giving out 100 notes. Uh, so Not we're gonna have to stick to around 26 euro today. Sad face. Hey, uh, yes, please, the salami sandwich, please. Uh, warm, please. Warm. Uh, yes, please. Warm? Um, yeah, one of them, and then the... One of the tuna tortillas, well. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. And do you have coffee? Coffee, yes. And um, if I could get just a silver Americano. Okay, to go in here, please. Uh, to go, yeah, please. Okay. Thank you. Look at that cake. This cafe is crazy. They have like such a wide selection of stuff. And it's probably one of the, I would say it's the most recommended cafe for me and Naomi in terms of what we've visited so far. And it's called um, Picarna Dalmantinka. Difficult to pronounce. Sorry to all Croatians up front. All right, so we got our stuff. We got uh, two Americanos, two toasted sandwiches, one salami and one tuna. Check out the size of these sandwiches. Bigger than my head. Um, <laughs> came to 50 kuna. So 50 kuna, I'm gonna have to check the currency rate. So 50 kuna comes to six euro and 66 cents. That's kind of creepy, 666, but um, yep, cheap. Huge sandwiches and very good coffee as well. So we're gonna get this into us and then we're gonna continue to explore Zadar. I don't know if you can see very clearly behind me, but there's a little uh, van full of dough, like 30 kilos of dough. So this uh, Cafe Dalmanica, they seem to bake all of their stuff fresh. They have pizza as well, which the pizza, Naomi's half Italian and she was saying that the pizza looks Italian that looks like the type of pizza that you would get in Italy. Now Croatia obviously is heavily influenced as well by um, Italian culture so that's obviously why I'm sure you can get some seriously nice pizza around here. We haven't actually had any pizza yet. We've been here since Wednesday so what's that one two three four days. This is our fourth day here in Croatia. We've just kind of been taking it easy since we've arrived, haven't really been filming too much, just kind of collecting some nice footage for you guys for this video and for the next few videos of Croatia while we're here. Quick little side note as well, the water in Croatia, you can actually drink uh, the tap water. It's something that I didn't know, um, I wasn't too sure about when we, when we did arrive here. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna drink from the tap directly, but it turns out that it's perfectly fine perfectly clean water as well usually when you go to countries uh, more south in Europe like the Mediterranean Spain Portugal Malta Italy those types of places the water can be a little bit dirty but this water here in Croatia you can just literally go straight to the tap and refill it so it saves you money that food really hit the spot we're uh, pretty full now so Something I should mention as well, or what we should mention, is that we're currently in Zadar, obviously, as we mentioned there before, but this is the old town. So as you can see here, the streets are very narrow, the buildings are very old, and there's a lot of history here. So we're on our way to a place called St. Donat, which is a church and lots of Roman ruins. So come along with us. Just took a quick stroll through the St. Donat church area. There's a place there as well called The Forum. Took a little bit of a video for you guys there. It's very, very busy actually, um, funnily enough. 
quite a lot of tourists there um, although it's a lot quieter this year obviously because of what's going on in the world but it's a really cool place you have St Donat which is like the tower and um, you have a viewpoint up there so you can pay like 15 kuna per person to go up to the tower which is like 350 or something for two people um, I'm sure the views are amazing we haven't actually gone up there yet because today it's closed it's, it's a Sunday this is a very Catholic uh, religious country so the tower is closed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go explore we're gonna see if there's a Sunday market there's usually a market that's around here in the old town that we go and we get some fresh fruit really cheap really affordable fruit um, very very fresh all the people there that are selling the fruit are local as well um, yeah I think it's a bit um sorry <clears throat> I think it's a little bit busier today as well because it's the weekend it just seems like all of the tourists from like the outskirts or the outer areas really came here today so like every second person you see is either German or French um, and obviously the locals here but I feel like they're staying out of the city on the weekend yeah but this market uh, that we're on our way to now I think we're a little bit late for so we might get only like the last few scraps of food but see how it is we'll check it out and if it isn't open we'll do something else planning is not our strong suit apparently no. <laughs> this is pretty cool you can see here there's like pictures lined along this promenade um croatia obviously in the 90s was in a very serious war left a lot of devastation a lot of destruction behind a lot of the buildings that you see here in Zadar as well they still have quite a bit of damage very visible on the actual structures themselves and it's actually a known thing um, amongst tourists not to bring up this uh, war this specific war not to talk about this with uh, Croatian people in general because it's obviously going to bring up quite a lot of quite a lot of bad memories but uh, this is really cool lots of artistic photos here depicting what actually happened where does it lead to? going into like a restaurant. <laughs> Let's see what happens like that. Huh. No idea where we are right now, but... I found the exit! Hey. <laughs> Got some fresh garlic, some potatoes, onions. Get the juiciest ones. <laughs> the juiciest ones. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we got our fruit from the market. We were very late, as you could see. There's basically nothing there, but 
we did pick up some uh, ne a nectar, a nectarin, and some uh, bless you, and some uh, apricots. <laughs> this all came to two euro, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna go enjoy these now. It's really funny. We've been here since Wednesday, uh, so we had the entire week to actually film a video, but we picked the one day where it's cloudy, <laughs> the one day where it's Sunday and the entire place is closed so but um we're trying to make this as interesting as possible so <laughs> stick with us something just to note on the side as well is that croatia is currently open um just like it was almost pre-covid for anybody that's living in europe anybody that's a european citizen if you are looking to travel to croatia currently it's literally like it was in 2019 it's very very relaxed and it's very open as well so fantastic place to come right now for the summer if we were to come here again maybe a little tip um, everywhere uh, in the city center you have these little signs saying apartment um, and those tend to be a lot cheaper than what you would pay if you pre-book um, for example on airbnb so that's what we did we pre-booked on airbnb and we paid 140 euro for our room for an entire week which is cheap like and marita is amazing don't get me wrong we're gonna link the airbnb down below as well but if you just come here genuinely unprepared just walk around the city center and look for out for these blue signs usually um we went into one and we asked for the price and it was like 60 kuna for a room um for one night so that's a lot cheaper than what we paid beforehand Cheers. 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 <laughs> so we just got talking to a really interesting tour guide. Um, she was working on um, a Cornati tour, which the Cornati is a kind of a collection of islands that you might be able to just see behind me there on the horizon. Really, really interesting girl. Um, the tour for both of us, if we do want to do it, it's on Wednesday, works out to 340 kuna each, which is around uh, 90 euro. Now what's included in that tour is you, uh, obviously you're picked up in the morning, it's pick up at 8.30 a.m. So get up around seven, that should be fine. And then basically the tour starts there. You have food basically the whole entire way along. So you have your lunch, which is like supposed to be like a fish salad thing. And then and the dinner times, you didn't really say what you have for dinner, but you do have wine as well included in it. And you stop off along a bunch of different islands with a bunch of different really cool things. Like there's a salt water lake that's kind of like a pool. You also have crystal clear ocean, lots of things to do like snorkeling and stuff like that. So. That's something that we're thinking about adding onto our list now because after here, after Zadar, we're planning on going further south towards a place called Biograd, which surprisingly enough, every time we mention it to anybody here in Croatia, they're like, why are you going there? Even the tour guide was like, why are you going there? Because apparently it's a pretty local place. It was actually originally the capital of Croatia uh, many, many years ago. So that's one of the reasons why we picked that place out just to check out and apparently there's a lot of beaches there as well. Two things to check out when you're here in the old town of Zadar. This right here, this is the sun salutation. Uh, obviously, it, once it gets dark, it's a whole lot cooler. It's basically a solar powered display of a salutation to the sun. So incredibly interesting and definitely something you should check out. The, the next thing to check out uh, when you're in Old Town Zadar is actually just very, very close to the sun salutation as well. It's called the Sea Organ. I'll take you to it now. So the sea itself is actually pretty calm today, so you're not getting much noise out. But when the water is a little bit rougher or it's a little bit windier, you get some really cool noises coming out of those sea organs. So that's definitely something to check out when you're in the Old Town. Don't know if you guys can see this very clear, but the water is just crystal clear here. Really beautiful. You can literally see down to the bottom. I'll tell you what, walking upstairs in this heat, no bueno. 
grab myself a monster trying to get some energy it's cloudy today but it's still very very warm looking at the mid 20s now at the moment and wednesday the day we're looking to do the actual cornati tour it's supposed to reach 28 close to 30 so yeah i'm not used to this been sitting in lockdown for a year and a half my skin all over is red no good just finished this we're gonna try and make a quick trick shot oh awful Who littering in croatia i'm a good person so we're currently crossing the bridge now that connects old the old town of zadar you can see the gate back there that's where we actually started this video we're on the bridge there's the uh the pier there's naomi I'm the pier. she's the pier <laughs> and then we're headed this way so we're actually staying somewhere over here around this direction is where our airbnb is so it's very very close to everything within walking distance as we were saying the airbnb will be linked down below for you to check out so we're taking a quick little pit stop at the airbnb i'm gonna grab some gear my god i'm sweating it got really warm out of nowhere just like boom the sun just came out and then we were like all right let's go swim so that's what the plan is now we're back here in the airbnb i just wanted to show you guys one thing and uh, because this is definitely the highlight of the airbnb right here check this view out it's absolutely ridiculous you can see just here in the distance you have the adriatic sea you have some more land here and um, we thought we thought originally that this was a part of an island but it's actually still just inland croatia it kind of stretches around like this comes back here and then further this way you'll have all the islands as well and then further south croatia obviously there's a lot more so what a view the weather has improved substantially since we came back so we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go swim we got changed real quick because of how effing warm as it has gotten all of a sudden so it was cloudy basically all day for the first time we were here so we thought all right just gonna go for a stroll around the town or whatever but now there's not one cloud not one yeah. and it's like 37 degrees uh 37 <laughs> 27 degrees 27 yeah completely cleared up so we're on our way to the beach for a swimmy swim okay we're just gonna go for an evening swim now and enjoy the sunset in like two hours i'd say maybe three and yeah that's really it for today i'd say hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe drop a little comment down below much love from zadar bye